What's up everyone? Welcome back to The Daily Sean. For those of you who haven't been here before, my name is Sean. I do a daily video. Something related to nursing. No rhyme or reason. Probably not going to change. Huh? What? Did you hear that? Alarm fatigue. I know, I've talked about it once already, but this time I'm talking more specifically about the alarms themselves. Anyone ever notice that the level or sound of the alarm does not correlate with the level of emergency? I don't know about you, but the sound that the alarm makes when a limb lead is off, it's like a foghorn. It's like it's like DEFCON 1! It's like the emergency broadcasting system has gone off. All because, you know, one of the chest leads fell off. But when you have someone who's in true VTAC, yeah, it sounds like a cricket. A as if, you know, want to make sure the limb leads are on because, God forbid, somebody actually go into, oh, I don't know, a lethal arrhythmia that could kill them! Maybe it's just me. Maybe over the past 10 years my sense of hearing has been dulled a little bit, or maybe I'm getting old. I really hope it's not me getting old. My vision's already going. I don't need my hearing to go too. You know, they have like the yellow alarms and then the red alarms. Well, the yellow alarms make this screeching sound that grabs your attention. And then you have the red alarms, which are usually kind of important, that they, they sound they sound like a car parking off in the distance. It just kind of rumbles a little bit. It really doesn't make an attention-grabbing noise. Maybe it's me. It's surely not the facility I work in because this has happened in more than one facility. This has happened while I was a travel nurse. This has happened in two or three of the other facilities I worked at over the past 10 years or so. So... I know it's not just the specific facility I'm in. Curious, is anybody else out there having a problem with this? Or should I go get my hearing checked? I really hope I don't have to get my hearing checked. If you've watched my video on my love for the IV pumps and those alarms, I think the person who created and maintains the alarms for the IV pump also is in charge of the monitor alarms and it's a conspiracy but it's just me curious what you have to say you know your comments are McAfee share this with somebody and as always check your own pulse first